Good morning, VC. It's the Zonk Man coming at you once again. Uh, it's been a little while. Uh, if I sound funny or sound different, that's because I might be a little under uh, the weather. Uh, don't say that word. Um, this is a of course a contest entry in the uh, the season of contest entries in the VC. And this uh, this contest is for Chris Profi, musically obsessed, which is probably something that you could add to everyone's uh, channel name. That musically obsessed, but that is a great addition to that. Um, yeah, we're all a little bit crazy about vinyl records and music in general. Um, all right, so I'm a little under the weather. Zog man, always either you're lucky to see a video from him in a while, uh, so I've crawled out from under some rock, or I'm uh, quarantined uh, in the zone Z right now, maybe. Um, so we're doing this contest entry. Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Maybe I just like saying that. I don't know why. Okay, uh, there's uh, some questions, five questions. First question. Uh, your first musical memory, and uh, I don't know, that's kind of hard for me, um, but I've talked about before listening to my mom's 45s as a kid, so I'm going to estimate I was like five years old, so I didn't really know any better, and uh, my first musical memory, I can't believe I'm going to admit this, uh, I was singing along to I Write the Songs by Barry Manilow, and I'm actually going to show a record. Barry Manilow. This does not have I Write the Songs on it. This is not the 45 uh, that I was playing as a kid, five years old, and didn't know any better. Um, but that's the first musical memory. And uh, we have uh, evolved beyond that, thank goodness. All right, next question. Um, song you would sing karaoke. All right, this is guy. You don't want the uh, you don't you don't want the Zonk Man singing, period. Um, I could like any of your favorite tunes. Uh, I would like to maybe murder with uh, Cookie Monster vocals. Um, that's the type of karaoke I sing. But I did I did come up with one thing. Um, Vangelis, Chariots of Fire. This is the Chariots of Fire soundtrack. Uh, not to be too funny. Uh, this is actually great music. But yes. There are no vocals. It is instrumental. That's what I would sing karaoke. All right, we're going to keep moving along here. We don't want to uh, uh, waste too much of your time, Chris. And thank you for having this contest. I did not mention 200 subs contests. That is an awesome feat. So I'm going to do some plugging right here in the middle. Um, I heard about you through Bill at the Vinyl Verse uh, promoting your channel. Uh, so I went over and uh, started watching some videos. So I appreciate that. That'll probably be the next uh, contest video I do is for Bill, uh, the vinyl verse. But this is for 200 subs. Awesome feat. My little channel doesn't even have that yet. So great job. Great channel. Uh, if y'all aren't familiar with uh, Chris, uh, go check him out. All right. The next question. Of course, he said something about... Uh, albums uh three albums you would take on a deserted island desert rock is that what you said you said desert rock yeah man desert rock a little yawning man macedonian lines this is a 2019 release of the ones who started it all back in the uh, we'll say mid to late 80s in the desert in california uh, and then which kind of uh, produced the next band I'm going to show. But uh, so another Stoner Rock. I've shown this album before. Whoa, Killer Glare on the Still in the Shrink. That's horrible. Get to see. Wow, the Zonk Man. Where is that? It looks like the Zonk Man has some flowers at the window. But anyway, <laughs> Caius, Sky Valley. I've shown this before. Space Cadet. There's a lot of great songs on this. This is Desert Rock. Going to the desert island with the Zonk Man. Um, oh, yeah, one more. Boom. This is actually a little CD action. Fu Manchu, Eating Dust. 
I like a little uh, sidecar racing they're doing there. That's pretty cool. This is the back. Hope the glare is going to be horrible. But anyway, Eaton Dust, Fu Manchu. That's the three records we're taking on the deserted island. Next question is album artwork that you can stare at continuously. And we're going to keep on with the stoner desert genre, but these guys are a little bit newer. They're keeping it going. All Them Witches. This is Dying Surfer Meets His Maker. And there is a couple of guys here hanging out. It's almost like they blended a black and white picture and some artwork here, too. And this is a uh, gatefold. Let's, let's crack it open this way. Boom. Wicked, man. Yeah, we're just listening to the album and chilling to some All Them Witches. little side note on All Them Witches. Uh, hopefully they do put out some new material this year. Um, they were just at Abbey Road Studios recording, like at the beginning of March or something like that. So uh, if you're not familiar with them, check them out. They're actually out of Nashville, Tennessee, um, but they are not country. <laughs> Which there's actually a lot of great music uh, now that's coming out of Nashville. It's not just uh, just country. All right, last question is what oh best ending track and we're sticking on some more stoner rock desert rock the one and only caius this is blues for the red sun great album i would love to have this on vinyl this is a 92 release i don't know if you can get that in there the uh, ending track is yeah and then it's like the best ending track ever yeah, if you're not familiar with it, check it out. It is probably all of about five or ten seconds. All right, that is my entry into Chris Profi Musically Obsessed 200 Subscribers Contest. Again, uh, congratulations, uh, Chris. Awesome job reaching 200 subs. And, I, you know, I didn't even check before I did this video of what you're actually up to, but I'm sure it's going to go well over 200 and eventually we'll be doing some kind of uh, crazy 1,000 subs contest. Uh, and then you can start going live from your phone or something crazy like that. All right, that's pretty much all I have. Oh, yeah, a little side note here. I'm wearing my clutch t-shirt here. I am excited about rsd the clutch box set man it's going to be kind of on the limited side too but the zonk man is stoked about some clutch uh it's going to be some crazy i've seen a few different things so i don't know exactly how many lps but it is like anywhere from it's either 15 to 17 lps and it doesn't matter what it is if it's just live if it's just all their studio it doesn't matter the Zonk Man's all over that. All right. Sorry, I just threw that in the uh, end of your contest there, Chris. And uh, y'all have a wonderful day. Namaste.